Howdy folks. Let's now go over Chai. Chai is an assertion library for Node in the browser. We're going to use this along with WebDriver IO in Mocha. So the first thing we need to do, let's install Chai. So we're going to swap out the assert, the node assert that we've been using before and use Chai. We're going to use Chai's expect here. So let's do that now. Import expect from Chai. So now, so we can import it. Um, if we weren't using ES6 imports, we would have to do something like this. Um, spec. We'd have to do that. But we're going to use ES6 and the object destructuring. So we can write it like that. So now we have our expect. And there's a lot of different things we can do with expect. So let's swap out some of the stuff we've already done. So how we, here we've had assert at equal. Let's change that to use chai. We're going to use expect title dot two dot equal. See so yeah, how we did dot two dot equal. So now we can do that. Now let's copy this. We got that. Let's let's comment this out because else it's going to fail for now. So let's try and see if this works. Um, so let's run that. So good. So it does work. I'm actually going to remove this it just for the sake of the video. So now what if we wanted to find maybe it doesn't equal, we can do um, two dot not equal. So now this should fail. And it failed. We can also do things like Expect, we can, we can check arrays maybe. You don't need this too much with end-to-end -end testing, but maybe you will some, maybe do. It's mainly for unit tests, but let's do two, and let's check if the array includes a five. So let's run that. So now both should pass. So good. So let's say, this error is out. Sometimes you'll have like a true false value here. So let's let's do. We could maybe do. What did we do here before? Um, let's check that this this element on the page actually exists. So we can do. Let's check it's visible. So this is this is a web that is visible as a web driver method. We'll get into that a little bit later. But let's expect that to be true. Uh, so we can do that. So let's run that. Nope. That did not work. Is visible. Actually, is visible is not a function. Is visible is a version four method. And version five, it's now called is displayed. So good, that worked. But let's say it failed. So let's let's purposely fail it. Load. So now the error message is expected true to equal false. 
that doesn't give us that much information. So what we can do is in the second parameter of our expect, we can actually specify a message. So we can say like project, project title is not display. So now when it errors out, it'll give a little bit more useful message to the user. So let's try it now. So good. So now you can see we have a better error message. So that's the basics of Chai. There's a, there's a lot more it can do. I'm not going to go over everything in this video. I will post a link to the Chai website and you can, you can see everything that it can do. Um, you can view every, all the functions on expect um, and everything else.